Hey guys, welcome to my shop. Today I wanted to show you a new sling that I've come up with called the Halo Sling. This is a sling that I made probably, it's got to be almost a decade ago. Uh, this was, man, it's got to, yeah, that's got to be a decade ago. This is the original right here. And this sling went on to a seven and a half that I ran at a class with Talent Defense down in Alabama. And it was the first time that I'd run a sling like this, and every single student in that class was like, oh, man, come on. Because seven and a half are, are truck guns. So, um, I, it wasn't on this particular one, but it was one very similar to this. And so I ran, the, I ran this sling on it, and like I said, everyone was just beside themselves. And this is actually a BCM quick detach that's actually in the paracord loop and then the loop is joined. So I may offer this as an option for you. This kind of ties you into one thing. Whereas the way I've done this one, it makes the sling infinitely versatile. So you can do PDW, you can do truck gun, you know, lightweight, seven and a half, 300 block out truck gun. Um, you can, dude, you can do camera. I mean, originally the tier one citizen sling actually began as a camera sling because I was going to so many classes. In fact, here I am at uh, Way of the Gun with twin Nikons um, running paracord because I, I, was, I would routinely run two Nikons and I needed a lightweight way to do things and then eventually we worked into making a sling. But um, this sling is such a cool feature to have and the reason that I like this one is when you're not using it, you wind it up, you create a bit of tension, and then you hook it over the end, and it disappears. All right, so now the weapon is easily pulled up out of a bag, out of a slot in your car, out of the back of your pants underneath a coat if you needed to, and I'll show you another option for this for that. But anyways, you can use it, and if you need it, then you flick this off. It automatically unwinds, you pull, throw it over your neck, and off you go and then you can eventually get your arm in. The other way to wear this is like this. Over the back of the neck, the weapon goes into your armpit. So if you're wearing a dress shirt and a jacket, it hides, which is why you see Secret Service standing like this all the time. These people stand like this for a reason, because they don't just have a handgun the majority of the time. They may have something else underneath there. But this, you push out, and now the weapon is usable and then collapse it and back into the armpit. And talk about hiding in plain sight. The other way to use it, can you tell I thought this out? Guys, remember, I did this a decade ago. And the only reason I'm offering it now is so many people have asked for it that it just it makes sense to offer it. The other way to use it is take a quick detach, lace it through, pull it tight, what you're doing is you're creating a girth hitch. When you hook it into the weapon, the same exact measurement that worked for a PDW, that works for an AR-15. Um, this is a very lightweight minimalist sling, and so the weapon can stay out of your way on the side. You can also hook it like this to keep it on your back, and it will stay there. I mean, period, it will stay there. And when you need it, you pull it around and come out, and you can use it. But when you don't need the sling, this is where this sling excels where other legacy slings don't. Is you hook it. And you can still you can still work your charging handle, but now the sling is hiding on the weapon and it's totally out of your way. Uh, another way that another way you can do it is actually this. You can actually take it right over the end. You create the tension that I showed you before, and now the sling is 100% out of your way. There's no chance of it getting migrating into the way of the charging handle, and yet you have a perfectly functional sling waiting to be used. The way this is going to work is you will, you will give me your measurements by taking a tape measure, not a, not a tape measure, but a tape measure and these are cheap you can get them at Walmart you can get them at most general stores and you wrap it around and you put it roughly 
where you think you want your weapon to hang. And you figure out, okay, I want it centrally here, and I want it to about hang here. And you always want to compensate for the fact, wherever your hookup point is, so let's say that you're running um, a PDW, uh, the Flux, you're running a CZ, you're running an MP5, MP9, TP9, whatever. Figure out where your mounting points are on that weapon, and figure out where you want to hook in, and where you want the stock and or brace to come to an end. So you want that stock, in this case, obviously, I'm only mounting here, but let's say that this were, you got a mounting point here. I could easily drill a hole here and mount, but the point is, let's say that you want the stock to end up here. Well, your measurement needs to be measured to here. And you also want to make it a little bit on the tight side because you have to, rem you have to compensate for the fact that this is bungee and it does stretch. And so what you do... So you set it where you want it, and yeah, so 47, I did that very rough and quick. When I did it earlier and like really thought it through, it came out to exactly 48. I then am going to add 4 inches. Why 4 inches? Because when I'm making your sling, there's an offset of an inch and an inch, here and here. And the bungee has to pass over itself, and then I've got three rings that I clamp on, and I wailed on this sucker. I mean, I just stretched and stretched and stretched and stretched until I finally just like had the things totally maxed out past 100% of its stretch and it still wasn't letting loose. So, I, not to mention a decade, okay? A decade. And then, so, inch and an inch, this is two inches here. And this right here is also going to consume roughly two inches when you loop it through something. So I'm trying to make sure that I give you guys what you've measured plus a little extra to, that, that gets eaten up in the production process and the mounting process but what you end up with is a sling that is capable of holding your PBW or your truck gun in a very simple way to hide in plain sight. I thank you guys for supporting me at tier1citizen.com if you guys have any questions please send me an email at tier1citizen at gmail.com as always God bless you all get those guns out in practice have a good one